everyone. This is Tani Seren. Um, thank you all of you who've been joining me for the uh, self-help videos. As you can tell, of course, I'm always sex-centered and, um, you know, there's a lot of sex positivity going around here. Um, but today I want to talk about communication. So um, along with all of my videos, I always have that uh, really big emphasis on what communication is and how it can really better our friendships and our relationships. Um, and even having communications with ourselves uh, can have a lot of power overall. So this will be, there'll be a lot of different seconds to my videos, a lot of continuations as kind of new things come to light and I'm discovering things along with you all. But um, just to kind of start at the beginning, um, I've got a very, very healthy, happy sex life. I also have a very happy relationship and I truly give that all to communication on both sides. Now, that can be very difficult for some of you who are um, used to communicating and maybe not experiencing that from your partner, but for those of you who aren't that great at communication and verbalizing your needs, I want to emphasize how important that is. So this first video is just going to go over how incredibly important it is to really communicate your needs. Because we're not mind readers. No one is. You're not going to be able to tell what your partner needs and wants without them saying something at one point. If we always lived our lives, you know, what do you want to eat? I don't know. What do you want to eat? Nobody's going to get fed. Empty mouths do not get fed. So say what it is that you want. Um, say what it is that's bothering you. Communicate your needs and the things that aren't working for you. If you experience uh, someone saying something you, you disagree with or that is hurtful to you directly, um, addressing that as soon as possible instead of allowing it to kind of grow into something larger will allow you to get the, your needs met faster so that you aren't going to have as much of a repeat offense or it's something you can actively work on with your friends, with your partners, with whomever you're kind of directing this communication towards. And if they don't respect your communication and your boundaries and your needs, it might bring to light faster that you don't need them as a part of your circle. Um, because if we cannot, you know, um, understand each other's boundaries and communicate well with each other, then um, that is an issue. It cannot be a one-way street. So I recommend that you start practicing, because here's the thing, confrontation can go hand in hand with communication in some respects. There might be some things that you want to communicate, but you're afraid it will lead to a fight. Um, I really, really implore you to continue to still state your needs, to still communicate with people despite the fear of confrontation. I hate confrontation. I will try to do everything in my power to avoid it at all costs, but then I found that I was sacrificing my own happiness in relationships just because I didn't want to cross that path. The only way to get comfort, like comfortable and good at something is by practicing. So if you never communicate with those that you believe you might have conflict with, you're never going to be able to practice enough to be comfortable with it. And it will be a struggle for a very long time with you. Um, and I'm not talking about, you know, you did this and I hate it. You know, there are definitely some healthy ways that you can communicate and ease conversations and ease uh, communication with your partner. And I will be going over some of my advice for that in uh, future videos along this communication line. Um, but for now, I really truly just want to stress that whether you're afraid of that potential confrontation or whether you're afraid of someone disagreeing with you or whether you just have a hard time finding your voice a you know an empty mouth like you've got you've got to speak it you have to be able to to tell somebody what you need um, and uh, without that you know truthfully there is a really stunted area in your relationship it's very hard to move forward if you're not communicating what you need to be further happy or what you need to explore or uh, the needs that you need met that aren't currently being met so I hope that my yapping and yapping about this wasn't too confusing and that you got kind of the point that I was trying to get across with communication and how truly important it is for all relationships in our lives. I will be continuing this with great ways to bring up things about sex, to bring up things about disagreements, to bring up things about politics or or you know what you what you believe in life and religion and I will continue to release those videos in the following few months I hope that they're helpful for those of you like me who are practicing your communication um, and I, I really hope uh, that we can learn together 
Thank you all so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy my advice, if you enjoy my chats, and if you have any ideas for uh, future videos you'd like to be seen done, please comment below. I'm always reading them, and I appreciate it so much. Bye, everybody.